All right, so in this video, we're gonna blur and track, in this case, a license plate here in DaVinci Resolve. Super quick, super easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So to do this, we're gonna head over to the color page, make sure our clip is selected. So right now, since we're gonna start from the very beginning, select those and get rid of those nodes. Alt S, give me a brand new node right there. All right, so the first thing we need to do is draw a selection around what we want to blur. So that's of course, in this case, the license plate, but it could be anything, it could be a face, it could be a logo, whatever. I'm gonna scroll up here with my mouse wheel just to zoom in, make sure I get a good look at this. Then come over here to our power windows, select that. And in this case, we need a square, it's gonna work. And we'll just put it right over here and go ahead and adjust it. I can press Shift F and get an even bigger view of this here to make sure I get it just where I want it, right on the plate here. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna pull down that softness control here as well. And we about have it, so there we go. That looks pretty, uh, pretty good, cool. Shift F to go back to normal. We'll just set this to fit. Okay, so there is our selection. Of course, the problem is whenever we play now, it's only that one frame, right? So we have to track that selection. So let's go ahead and track it first and then we'll apply our, our blur effect. So head over here to our tracker and we have pan, tilt, zoom, rotate, and 3D on in this case. You may not need all of those trackers, but uh, we do because of the uh, movements of this car, as you can see. All right, so we'll start it right on that frame and we're gonna track forward, boom, and there it goes. So just let that finish. And right there, the tracker stopped because it's lost, uh, it's lost uh, the uh, position, of course, because it goes out of, uh, out of frame anyway and we can't see that license plate at that point anyway. So we'll come back here to our first tracking point, which, Zoom in here a bit, pull this over here, which was about right there, okay? Then we'll track backwards. So just click this button here to track reverse, and we'll track it back, and then it's out of frame. Okay, so our tracking is now done, at least it should be. Let's see if it picks up, and it does. And then it goes out of frame. Okay, so it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and apply our blur effect now. Over here to open effects, box blur will work Throw it right on there then of course adjust it however you see fit but for us it looks pretty good right about there okay so now let's look at this we'll press uh shift f to see this bigger and pull it back and see how it looks now right now you can tell we have the blur on the screen already which we don't want we're going to fix that in a minute put that back and it looks pretty good Even out of frame and that blur is still on. You can see it right here, let's play forward. Right there it is, you can see that blur. So let's go ahead and uh, fix that now. We can do it from this screen here actually, if we want to. So let's come back to about where we want it to turn on, which is probably about uh, there. So this frame right here, make sure our open effects are open. We have box blur selected. I'm gonna pop on a keyframe right here. Then just use my arrow key to go back one frame and then pull it all the way off. So then it comes on instantly, boom, as you can see. Right there. So if that's too much, control Z, control Z out of that. And what we'll do is make sure it's on right about here and keyframe it. We're gonna step back one, two, three, maybe four frames and then keyframe that. So then it's going to sort of fade on. There we go. Good, but of course we have the problem right there of where we lose the track because we don't even need it at this point right here. Now we can fix this a little bit if we need to. We turn on our power window overlay. I'm just gonna drag this over a bit right here. We step back a bit just to make sure the track is still good. Move it over a little bit here maybe. Just make sure that it 
is where we need it since we sort of moved it around a bit. So about right here, we don't really need it around here because you're not gonna see anything there anyway. So let's go ahead and do the same thing and uh, use our keyframes to just turn that off right about here. Looks good to me. Pop on our keyframe right there. Step forward, maybe one, two frames and turn it off. There we go, and it's gone. Okay, so we have blurred that, shift F there. We have blurred and tracked that license plate pretty quick to uh do here in davinci let's do it again awesome now what about the rear because we have a license plate there as well so if i wanted to blur that i would probably create another node so we'll come over here and i'll just hit alt s to give myself a new serial node and we'll do the same exact thing that we've already done just find a good frame to start on. That looks good to me. Grab our power window. Again, make sure I have my second node selected there. Just grab one right here and go ahead and adjust it to the license plate. And that looks pretty good. So come over to our tracker and first we're gonna track forward. And there we go. And then we're gonna track from about here and then track in reverse. Track it back and it's gone. Okay, cool. So same thing here. Go and grab my box blur, throw it right on there. Cool. And look at that real quick. All right, perfect track, looks great. Of course, you can see here, it's still on screen right there. So we'll do the same thing that we did uh, previously. Let's head back here. Let me go to uh, Shift F, get this uh, bigger here. Open my open effects. And we'll go ahead and take this back. So we don't need it until about right there, right? So go ahead and pop on that keyframe there. I'll go back one, maybe two frames and then turn it off. So let's look at that fade in. Perfect. For the end, we don't need it about there. So make sure I have my keyframe here, head forward one frame, maybe two frames, and then turn it off. And we should have a pretty perfect look now. Comes in, fades on, tracks the entire way, and now it's gone. Then our second tracker and blur right there, and then it's out and it's gone. Okay, pretty simple, pretty uh, easy to do there. Shift F again to go back. All right, so that is how you can track and blur here in DaVinci Resolve and of course head back to our edit page now and that is all set up for us right here in the edit page as well.